Happy Doro Hidoro week. Happy quarantine. I just got back from a run. I took a shower. My hair is wet. And now I am going to do something to celebrate the release of Doro Hidoro on Netflix. And that is, I am going to make gyoza from scratch. We're dissolving half a cup of salt into some just boiled water. So I'm gonna transfer that to my work surface as the recipe calls it and knead it for 10 minutes. I did wanna mention, I've never made gyoza in my life. I'm not a bad cook, I'm a pretty okay cook, but uh, this is my absolute first time ever making gyoza, so in case you thought you were learning from the master, you're the opposite, you're learning from the, the, the novice. So this might not go well, we don't know. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, that was not 10 minutes, but I'm tired of doing it, and um, I feel like my dough looks beautiful. Dough is so cool. It's amazing that this used to be flour and water and just a little bit of salt. 30 minutes, bitches. Hi, I'm back. It might have been a little longer than 30 minutes. I might have taken a whole nap. So now we're going to cut these logs into 12 pieces each. And then we're going to roll them out into little circles. Gyoza wrap is done. Moving on to filling. I uh, was going to finish the gyoza today, but someone put the ground pork in the freezer instead of the fridge. So I have to wait until tomorrow for them to defrost. Well, hi everybody. Welcome to day two. The pork has thawed. Uh, so first thing, we're gonna chop the cabbage up real small and then put salt on it and then squeeze all the juices out of it so it's not too moist. This is so much more than is going to fit in my gyoza wrappers. I am just praying that this is going to be as satisfying as the YouTube video I watched. Come on, just drip. Some ground pork. A teaspoon of mirin. A teaspoon of soy sauce. Sesame oil. Now I'm going to mix this all up with my hands. Mixed. Ready to go in the dumpling rolls now. This is the part that we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, is to see what my gyoza look like. A little bit of filling into there. Got a little ramekin of water running along the edge here. <laughs> oh, some people are, they make them so beautifully. I'm gonna watch a video and try to get better at this. One of these. It might be the last one but one of these is going to be perfect. It's gonna look so good. It's gonna look just like a restaurant. This is so much work. Do you know how long this took me? It took me hours, like four hours at least. <laughs> they're, they're starting to look normal. <laughs> it's really satisfying to not be good at something and then stick with it and get better. I felt that way when I started Taekwondo as well. I just thought, I'm so bad at this. It's so the opposite of anything I've ever been good at and I'll never get good at it. But I, I just decided to keep going with it and I am so much better now. It was, it's more satisfying than just naturally being good at something, I think. Okay, I've got two plates of gyoza. Some of my, my best work, some of my worst. Looks like an unfortunate ball sack. And then we're gonna cook them up for dinner. 